21M21F advice moving on from 5-year relationship I recently broke up with my girlfriend, and I'm genuinely lost on what to do, the breakup wasn't my own doing. I was blind allowed my friends think for me, ultimately making the decision for me to break up with her when in reality I didn't and now I regret it 2 months later. It stung even more after I found out that she started spending a lot more time with a male friend of hers, as in, not real life activities but more spending time in a sense that they play video games together and enjoy each other's company. In hindsight I shouldn't be jealous since she's a 20 minute walk away from my house, and the guy she's spending time with is in the US, across the whole world. But I'm so ducking jealous. Bit of backstory on the situation with this guy, me and my now ex were quite dumb and wanted to make money quickly so we came up with the idea of catfishing men on the internet would be a sure way to earn money, faking that she loved them and get the money that way. But it went too far I think and eventually whilst we were still dating, my ex used to say you know, I feel like he loves me more than you do, he started buying her things that she likes, like posters and she actually hung the posters up on her wall. I even got to see a clip of them two playing and they were laughing like she was laughing with me when we played games together. Ultimately we broke up because I refused to grow up, I had every advantage I could have, a job, I enrolled in driving school early and tried everything to make sure she stays happy. I got a job in the first place so that we could move in together to a flat I own, I was 18 at the time when I had this thought process. But then I for some reason got really stubborn and stopped working, I quit my second job without telling her and lied to her about it, because I didn't want to disappoint her. For the last 3 years I also just kept putting off my driver's license and just refused to get it even when I did do my theory tests online and tried to learn. My brain just shut off and refused to do it for longer than an hour per day. Eventually she got tired of repeating herself to me and we went on break, which broke me mentally and I talked about it to my friends and well, I was dumb enough to actually listen to their advice and cut it off with her when I shouldn't have. Now I'm in her DMs begging for a chance to make things right, that I'd be better. But at the same time, my self-respecting side is telling me to let her go. You can't make someone love you plus it really seems like she moved on to this other guy. I'd like to mention that she has been catfishing him for the last year or so now, probably longer now. I really don't want to move on, because she's the only person I'm attracted to, the only person I really look up to, the only person I have similar humor to, the only person I want to message when something exciting happens. But she says that we have to move on. I don't know how to cope with this situation. My family haven't really been all that useful and comforting, just telling me that it's good I finally broke up with her cause she wasn't a traditional woman she has tattoos. She did mention that she won't be hopping into any relationships and that I have time to fix myself, but she said this whilst we were still dating, before I broke up with her. But I'm trying now, better late than never, I started upscaling my workout routines, I've been working out for about 3-4 years but my body started to catch up with the food intake and my workouts didn't really help, I didn't become chubby or fat, I was still buff skinny, but my stomach was started to pop out a little. I started to work on my 3D projects more and earn a passive income on the side. I recently finished my coding courses and I'm not the type of person to study, my grades were below good in school. Our school has a 210 system, 2 being the worst and 10 being the best. To put it in perspective, I was a straight 4 student. But I finished my coding courses with an 8 in theory and a 9 in programming. I'm also planning on starting to take the online driving theory tests again and maybe send her progress, but I don't know if I should. Every time I try to talk to her and tell her that I miss her, she keeps telling me it just sucks, I feel terrible, I'm sorry, it sucks to have to move on. A part of me thinks that she still loves me and wants to make things right but she won't make it obvious unless I show her progress, the reason why I think this is because when I told her that I finished my courses and it was a good result, she said I am happy for you. I hope you land a good paying job with that course, you have a bright future ahead. It's hard because this was my first relationship, my first love first person I had intercourse with, she was the most important person in the world to me, my best friend. I've known her since kindergarten, when I was just a little boy I used to play with toy cars on her thighs and kiss her cheek every time I did a trick with one of the toy cars. We then reunited in high school, but ultimately, I shouldn't have listened to my friends cause now they're not even here anymore, we have no more contact and don't even talk, I wish I could turn back time and never say that it's over. It ducking sucks but I need advice coping, maybe getting her back. Ultimately moving on would probably be the best, but I don't know, I just feel lost without her in my life. I'm sure there's people out there who have dealt with this. Any support would be nice.